In this episode, we explore what it takes to grow plants on Earth, in space, and one day on the moon. That's good. I like that. Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. You ever wondered about plants growing in space? Well, ninth grader Shannon has. Will we one day be able to grow crops on the moon so I can have fresh fruits and vegetables there? Excellent question, Shannon, and I've got a few more. If a plant is growing in the zero G of space, which way is up? And if the sun is invisible, can we use LED lights instead? And can plants grow without the soil we have here on Earth? Those are just some of my questions. Let's search for answers together. During the Apollo era, astronauts had one mission, get safely to the moon and back. Growing crops in space wasn't a consideration. However, as we make efforts to return for longer periods of time to the moon and beyond, growing crops will become more important. To explore this further, I've come to Kennedy Space Center's Visitor Complex in Florida to meet Jane Pointer at the ATX Veggie Lab. Ooh, what's going on here? Well, we're growing food, getting, getting ready to go to the moon. Jane knows what it takes to grow food. For two years, she lived in Biosphere 2, a closed loop environment where she studied the role of microorganisms in the Earth's soil. On Earth, microbes play an incredibly important role in breaking down the nutrients to put them into forms that the plants can use. And you can mimic a lot of that with chemistry. So you don't need soil at all to okay. grow plants. We've got plants growing in nutrient-rich water. It's called hydroponics. Hydroponics is the science of growing plants in a solution of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients. This would make it possible for plants to grow in space and on the moon without any soil. But what about the lack of gravity? If a seed is germinating and growing on the ISS, yep. which way does it go? Is it looking for the light? Is it looking at the way opposite of gravity when there isn't gravity? Like, how does it know? Yeah, so it's actually really fun. So I, I did, I had a, a, a little tiny aquatic ecosystem on the International Space Station for almost 18 months. And they really had no idea. And they grew in this kind of circular, strange pattern, mm -hmm. right? So they, they don't necessarily really know which is up and which is down. Uh, so if you give them light on one side, they will know that that's up because mm -hmm. that's, that's, the that's the sun. Plants grow towards light, whether that's the sun in the sky or an artificial light placed above them. What's really interesting is that you don't need white light, right? We're used to thinking about plants growing in white light because that's what it is outside. So we've got pink light in here. So if you're trying to be super efficient, you only need to really give them red light and at least 10 to 15% blue light. With the hydroponic plant's water, nutrition, and light dialed in, I wonder, how does it taste? Will a hydroponic tomato taste any different from an a soil grown one? This is arugula, not tomato. You want to try some? Here, like smell arugula. it first. Okay. Smells smells spicy. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. Take, gonna, take a piece? Yeah, yeah, take a piece. That's space arugula salad. That's good. That's good. I like that. Okay, so hydroponics works here on Earth, and we assume it would work on the moon. Absolutely, it will. Hydroponics and LED lights offer a viable solution here on Earth but it's not so easy in space. You know, one of the things that's really tricky about thinking about growing plants in space is simply getting everything there. You know, it's very heavy. Getting things into space costs money, which is why experts are studying how astronauts can use resources already on the moon to grow crops there. One of those experts is Brent Sherwood, a space architect with blue origin who spends much of his time imagining what life might be like one day on the moon. What does agriculture look like in the future for, let's say, growing crops on the moon? Plants tend to need different conditions than people do. Mm -hmm. And so there will probably be some optimization of the environment in which the plants are growing. There are technologies already in development here on Earth for densifying farms, for example, vertical farms. Vertical farms are an exciting development in agriculture. Plants grow indoors in stacked trays with optimized lighting. 
In some cases, robots with artificial intelligence check the water quality, salinity, and nutrients. And yet, robot farmers may not offer a total solution. A lot of space engineers, when they start thinking about agriculture, then immediately start thinking about robots to tend the plants, which has to be one of the most complicated ways to do it. I would be happy to be a strawberry picker on the moon if I could just live on the moon, mm -hmm. right? I don't need a robot. I want to take that robot's job because I want to be there. We know that plants are really important for psychological health in space. And I think the human interaction with plants and these living systems is going to be a very important aspect of psychological health as these communities grow. Whether tended by humans or robots, it seems inevitable that plants one day will be grown on the moon. So that by the time Shannon is old enough to visit the moon with her children, there's a good chance fresh fruit will be on the menu.